I've noticed some sores on my skin that are crusty. Do you know what could it be? It could be impetigo, which is the common skin infection caused by two types of bacteria, Staphylococcus biogenes or Staphylococcus aureus. Some people carry these bacteria in their nostrils, on the skin or in the throat. The bacteria can pass onto your hands, then onto the part of your skin. What causes it? How do people get it? Your skin works as a barrier that keeps bacteria out, so it can live on your body without causing problems. But when there is the break on your skin, bacteria enter your body to multiply, causing inflammations and infections. Impetigo can also happen on healthy skin where there is no break to see. What are the symptoms I should look out for? Impetigo usually start as little blister. When they break, they start to whip, usually pus or sometimes a clear liquid. A whipping patches usually get larger than yellow or brownish scab form that burn or itch. Impetigo can also start from any damaged skin that doesn't heal and develop a crusty scab. Sometimes it looks like a rash that starts as a single spot, but if you scratch it, it then spreads to other places. Swelling around nearby area or mild lymph node enlargement might happen. So what are the treatments and can it be cured? Yes, impetigo is treatable. The treatment depends on how severe and widespread it is. Some options are antiseptic cream such as povidone iodine, hydrogen peroxide cream, or chlorhexidine. Topical or oral antibiotics may be prescribed for severe cases. How should I care for it while it heals? Have a warm bath for 20 minutes to soften the crust. Then gently wipe the crust away with wet towel and clean the towel afterward. Apply the antiseptic cream as directed. Cover the sores with waterproof dressing. Dispose use dressing in tight plastic bag to prevent spreading. Avoid scratching or touching the sores directly. Wash and dry your hands before and after touching the affected areas. And how do I stop passing this to others or avoid getting reinfected? Impetigo are highly contagious and are easily spread by touching. Prevention and limiting spread is very important. Wash your hands with soap and dry thoroughly before and after touching the skin. Don't share towels, soap and face towels. Wash your clothes, towels and beddings in hot water and dry in the sun or in a hot tumble dryer. Put all used tissues and dressings in a rubbish bin with a lid. Avoid swimming until all the sores have been healed. That was so helpful. Follow Celine the nurse to learn more about your health.